Hello guys, welcome to my video of comparing the Surface RT against Surface 2. In this video, I'll talk about the difference between the hardwares as well as the softwares. We'll see the performance gains of the Surface 2 as well as new features added. Let's get started. First, let's have a look at the hardwares. As all of you probably know already, the Surface 2 can not only stand at the Surface 1's 22 degree angle, but also at a second level at 40 degrees. This will make the Surface 2 a lot easier to use on your lap as well as on other situations where for the Surface 1 the angle is too steep for you to look at comfortably. And now let's have a look at the other hardware changes between the two Surface. Let's start on this end of the device. From the top down first, the speaker grill is now larger the USB 2.0 port has been replaced with the USB 3.0 port. The power connector is now sitting higher on the device. This actually makes the connector easier to use when the device is sitting with the kickstand open. On the bottom, nothing much has changed. The only difference is the addition of the pins in the dock connector used by the upcoming power cover. On the left edge of the device, nothing has changed other than the larger speaker grille. And on the top half of the device, you will find that the dual array microphone on the Surface RT is now gone. Instead, on Surface 2, there is one microphone on the back and one microphone on the front. There are also differences on the chassis construction. On Surface RT, there are three pieces of magnesium, the top case, the rim go around the whole device, and the kickstand. Now on Surface 2, the top case and the ring going around has been combined into one piece of magnesium, and the piece of magnesium also ends right here whereas on the old device the piece of magnesium actually goes around the whole screen now the piece of plastic actually touches parts of the screen due to the construction differences between the chassis the array of screws found along the surface RT are now gone it is now completely clean. The construction for the kickstand hinge has also changed. Previously, there are two secured hinges on, one, on each end of the device and a hinge in the middle to control the feel of the click. Now, the two hinges on each end of the device has been revised to allow the two-stage kickstand but also the hinge in the middle has been replaced with three wide flaps similar to the one found on the Surface Pro and Surface Pro 2. The micro SD card slot location has also changed. Previously it was right underneath the hinge of the kickstand. It was hard to access and also when the power was connected it was impossible to eject the SD card. Now the SD card slot has moved downwards. This makes it easier to gain access to the micro SD.
The speakers in the Surface 2 has definitely improved. On the Surface RT, stereo sound seems a little mudded. And on the Surface 2, The sound seems clear with a better stereo quality. The end of the power adapter is also a little different. Previously, you only have a little white LED on the top to indicate charging. And now, you have a ring of light to indicate the same thing. The new ring of light is a lot brighter and since it's visible in 180 degrees, you can see it from more angles. Like I said earlier, by moving the power plug up a little bit on the device, it relieves stress from the cable. Technical differences between the two devices include using a 5 megapixel camera on the back instead of a 720p camera and also on the front the same 720p camera on the surface RT has been replaced with a 3.5 megapixel camera that actually does a good job of picking up light in dark conditions. And now, let's do a boot up speed comparison between the two devices. Three, two, one, go. You probably noticed or heard that a vibration sound that came from the Surface 2, but the Surface RT did not do that while booting. And now let's do a shutdown test. Three, two, one, go. Let's do a benchmark between the two surfaces. Let's also do a network speed test. And now, let's do an app launch time between the two surfaces. Both of them have just finished restarting, so they are both starting from a clean state. Let's start with the store app. Second, let's try finance. Now let's try sports.
And finally, let's see news. Let's do a Office 2013 app launch time. Let's start with Word. And then let's try PowerPoint. And now, let's do a USB transfer rate test with this USB 3.0 flash drive. This drive is capable of doing 100 megabytes per second. Let's give it a try. On Surface 2, the file transfer started at around 60 megabytes per second, peaked at 72 megabytes per second, then slowed down to about 25 megabytes per second. The one gigabyte file takes about 30 seconds to transfer. On Surface RT, the same file transfer started at around 20 megabytes per second, then gradually went down to about 15 to 14 megabytes per second. The one gigabyte file takes about a minute to transfer. When a touch or type cover 2 is connected to a Surface 2, Additional features are enabled for the touchpad. For example, swiping in from the right edge brings up your charms. Swiping in from the left edge brings up your recently opened apps. Scrolling in the horizontal direction scrolls through your start screen. Scrolling in vertical direction switches between your apps or your start screen. There is also pinch to zoom. When the same type cover 2 is connected to the original Surface RT, swiping in from the edges only moves your cursor. Scrolling, no matter horizontally or vertically, only moves your start screen left or right. Pinch to zoom also does not work. Well guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. I'll see you next time. Take care now.